Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is third video for Employee Record Management System, and we are creating this system with Laravel 8. Okay, so in this video, we will configure the admin template. Okay, so I will go to the Start Boot app. Okay, I will go to the Start Boot app, and here they have a free and pro themes. So I will choose the free theme SB Admin. Okay, and I will. So you can see the preview of this template here you can see the preview they have uh, they have uh, created this theme very beautiful this is very beautiful admin template i like this personally so you can download this this is open source you can download this and after that <coughs> after downloading we will configure this in with uh, this in in a laravel so what we will do here i have downloaded this this is the template and I will copy the assets CSS and JS in the in the public folder. This is employee record system of our Laravel project and in the public folder I will copy assets CSS and JS. Okay, I have already copied that. Now I will copy the index.html file and paste in the employee record resource views and paste it here. Okay, so by default welcome.blade is, we can see the welcome.blade here, you can see that. Okay, so blade is a default template engine which comes with the Laravel. Now, I will change this name, blade.ph. So, loading, for loading this template, what we need to do, first we need to create the route and then we need to create the corresponding controller and in the controller, we will load this template, we can load this template. So what we will do, we will go to the command terminal in the project and we will create php artisan. Artisan is a command line, line tool which comes with Laravel and php make uh, php artisan make controller. So I will create controller admin controller. Okay. And created this. So this will create the admin controller dot php file. Here you can see that. Now we will go to the employee record app HTTP controller and admin controller. Okay, so here we have now we need to load the template. So I will say dashboard. Okay, so public function, let's say index, and we will load it here return view return view index okay now we need to create the correspondence route so i will go to the routes web okay and here we will create the admin so i'll we don't need this function okay so what we need we just need admin so when user slash when user go to the project and slash admin then we will use the controller so app HTTP controllers slash admin controller. So before using any controller, we need to uh, we need to get this controller. Okay, so admin admin controller class index. So with the help of this syntax, okay. So this is the syntax when we are loading uh, the this is the method. Okay, this is the method with the get method we will uh, we are uh, we will hit uh, in the URL admin and this admin will call the admin controller class and in that class uh, this class will call the index method. Okay, so this is the flow. Okay, now let's go to the project and slash admin. So it is it is loading the template here you can see it is loading the template but we didn't configure the css and js files so what we will do we will open the we will open the resource views index.blade.php and here we need to uh, configure this so we don't have to configure this dot style dot css is for the data table we just need to go to the bottom and uh, here and how we can do that in the assets asset we can simply this asset will call the public folder okay so js and we just simply copy this and paste here paste here and paste here okay 
refresh the page and we just need to js table okay control shift r okay let's see in the menu let's see in the menu they have they they are saying that script.js so what uh, we are doing here this is let's see assets so control shift r we will see the source code for this control u we can see the source code with control u and we will go to the bottom and here we will see js Okay, so what we need to do, we need to define the public actually. Okay, we need to define the public so that it will load the, because our JS is in public, so we need to load this from the JS. Okay, now we will copy this here and we will copy this here, we will copy this here. Okay, now we will refresh the page here. Okay, so it has been loaded, but uh, not all the things. Uh, it is loaded. Few. Okay, we need to actually load this CSS also. Refresh the page. So we have loaded. Uh, we have loaded the template. We have configured the template, and now we can do. We can create pages. We can extend the layout. We can do other things. Okay. So what we will, what we need to do next. We will create. Uh, we will create the main layout, and then we will extend that layout and create the sub pages. Okay. So in this video, I just want to show you that how we can configure the. Uh, we have learned that how we can configure the external template. How we will. Uh, how we will render the uh, external. C uh, how we will render the assets like JS, CSS, and all the things. Okay. So in the next video, we will create the. A layout and we will extend for basic pages okay like dashboard like for our cards and all the things and then we will create the admin login and all the other things okay so thanks for watching this video i hope you will enjoy uh, you are enjoying this video enjoying this series so please like share subscribe this channel thank you thank you for watching this video thank you so much